Coming up next on the IP Talk stage, John Tam from Cadence, presenting Cadence Design IP, a look at subsystems. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is John Tam, and I'm responsible for product management uh, at Cadence in the SOC Realization Group. Um, and what I want to offer is a uh, perspective from Cadence on the evolution of IP, uh, specifically at uh, IP subsystems. This chart kind of gives a, in a 10 year snapshot of IP. Um, and as we all know, most design companies are leveraging and integrating third party IP into their designs. And the time to volume um, of their design um, is in a large way dependent on the IP quality uh, that they get uh, from the commercial marketplace, um, as well as the number of IPs that they have to integrate. Um, what, what our customers are telling us when, when we survey them is that integrating this IP, and when we talk about quality, it's more than just the quality of the IP where standalone, it just works. Uh, but when it's, it's a quality and ability to integrate that into the overall design. So it's, um, you know, with the advent of companies like Chip Estimate um, and a number of commercial IP vendors, um, you have, you know, sort of an IP uh, uh, merchant marketplace, we call it an IP bazaar, um, where now, you know, for standards-based IP or, you know, pretty much, you know, all the building blocks that you need to build a design is available, um, and there's a price associated with that. And so that helps, um, you know, solve the problems of time to market, that helps solve the, um, um, the design cost by having that availability of the IP. And over time, what you have is um, an IP superstore where customers are looking more for just price and availability, but they're looking for support. And so now to serve the mainstream, you have these superstores, um, and, and you know who they are, where you have a wide availability, um, you have a wide selection, as well as a price. And uh, the intent there is kind of a, a one-stop shop and the ability to get uh, better support. Where Cadence is focused on is more of an IP factory. And we're, uh, when we say absolute quality, what that means is not only the quality of the IP standalone where it works, but its ability to integrate into an overall system. Um, that's a big focus for, for the uh, IP vendors going forward, um, as well as technology leadership. And Technology leadership not only saying it's the fastest or highest quality IP, I and mean, that's a given and a, and a baseline, um, but also um, the ability to leverage a full ecosystem. You, can you integrate that, um, and can you quickly um, you know, develop and optimize firmware, hardware, um, and, and, and build that? Um, also a continued roadmap, so how extensible is that IP? Um, you know, as you integrate a piece of IP, you would like to know that three, four years down the road, um, that IP will continue to live on with additional features um, and evolve. Um, you know, also, um, the ability to integrate um, and you know, having software, uh, being able to you know, easily test that, being able to build that into a design kit, into a board, um, having a verification environment, having a, um, a, a platform to you know, basically uh, prototype this, that is all part of an IP factory, um, and that is the direction Cadence is heading towards. And so the uh, integration we believe is key. Um, you know, in the past, uh, third-party IP uh, basically had to be functional and it had to have a certain level of baseline quality. Today, that's a, a, a must. Um, it, you know, your IP not only has to have that functionality um, and availability, but it has to be able to um, readily and easily integrate into a, a package, integrate um, into a, a system or board. Um, you know, quality, it means um, it's integration optimized. You can quickly um, optimize that you know, into the overall system. 
and further, you're hearing more and more about subsystem IP, uh, both from uh, um, you know, ourselves, Cadence, um, and the um, merchant, you know, IP merchants out there, um, meaning it's a, a number of IP um, optimized um, against a protocol. It's functionally optimized as well as optimized against a software stack. Going into the future, this is not where you know, we're at yet today, but we believe you know, platform uh, solution IP approach where the you know, IP is you know, on a platform and that is you know, readily optimized and integrated into an overall system. And you're talking about application integration versus system integration. Um, this is an, a, a basic example um, of a um, IP subsystem. You know, on the right, you have a uh, processor subsystem. I, I think um, you know, everyone here is aware of like an ARM uh, processor subsystem where you have the peripherals, you have the fabric, all available, all highly optimized uh, for particular applications. Um, and Cadence has offered um, a, a memory subsystem uh, for a while now that has say, uh, a DDR controller um, optimized against a PHY. But further, um, we offer also the verification IP, the entire verification environment, um, memory models, and the, um, an easy way to compile or configure to all or if you know, the multiple protocols or any configuration that's required uh, by your applications. And so the benefits is proven interoperability uh, with all the key memory suppliers, um, you know, having um, it you know, fully functional tested, it's uh, signal integrity, signal integrity um, and, and, and the ability to fully test that. And so at the end of the day, it enables uh, the rapid uh, adoption of your new memory standards. We extend the IP subsystems into um, the NAND or NAND flash uh, um, area with a NAND flash controller, uh, the PHY. And so again, the benefits is um, being able to quickly configure um, that IP subsystem into your application. It's a fully integrated controller and file solution, and it basically reduces your integration time um, and your design time significantly. It supports all the major devices to ensure that the IP performs in any application and is optimized to your end application. Um, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. And finally, what we've recently announced is an NVMe um, subsystem, which is the integration of a PCIe controller, an NVMe controller, and a PCIe PHY um, with, fully ex with the firmware drivers, and it's a fully optimized stack for both the hardware and the software. So some of the benefits of that is, again, uh, being able to scale um, to your server performance, um, whether you're designing for a, um, um, an enterprise server or a high-end client, and it's an extensible structure to allow um, custom commands for MVME, and the firmware is fully extensible. And so the, um, the, instead of design teams having to integrate each and every piece of this, you know that it's highly optimized and fully optimized uh, um, for you. The integration of the PCI, the NVMe Express with controller with the PCIe um, Express controller ensures that you have a highly optimized subsystem that gives you the, the highest performance, lowest latency, um, best bandwidth performance, um, as well as the lowest power. This is a, a, a snapshot of what the PCI Express 5 looks like. And so again, the subsystem value is instead of having 
um, to deal with each one of these building blocks independently, you know you have a fully optimized subsystem uh, for NVMe Express. And so this is what we believe is the direction uh, of IP going forward. In, in addition, we also have a um, high-speed Ethernet cluster subsystem. And so again, depending on um, whether you need 10G, 100G, um, you know, 40G, um, we have a full subsystem that uh, um, supports that. It's you know highly optimized, fully verified, um, and it comes with you know all the necessary models, the verification environment uh, that you need to rapidly integrate into your design. So again, uh, a slightly different picture of the Ethernet's uh, IP. And I guess that kind of wraps it. Um, so um, in summary, um, we believe that the IP uh, market is moving, to, uh, uh, f transitioning from or evolving from selling individual pieces of IP to uh, you know, highly optimized subsystems that it integrates both the hardware and the software you know, into a single stack, and at the same time being highly configurable so that it's optimized to, you can quickly optimize to your end design. So we do a fair amount of IP. Um, I don't have the numbers to be able to publicly uh, uh, talk about you know, what the volume looks like, uh, but we offer you know, IP across the spectrum from um, you know, store, you know, for uh, memory. We have um, you know, basically a, a wide variety, variety of interface IP, um, as well as uh, high-speed analog mixed signal IP uh, from SERTIs, FIs, um, and so it, it is a, a, a very fast-growing part of the Cadence business. Do you do any processor IP? Um, so we, we believe the processor IP is pretty well served and established by the ARMs and Intels of the world. So that's an area that you know, Cadence um, does not uh, have an offering. Um, but you know, uh, our IP subsystems are designed so that we can readily integrate you know, with the processor uh, subsystems that are available. I think they do a little bit, but again, you know, it, it's it's pretty well served, and it's it's um, you know difficult. It it would be, you know, lack of a better word, impossible to op to offer a, a more optimized or better solution than what you know ARM or uh, some of the other players are, are offering today. Okay, no other questions. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks, John.